scary monsters have been seen in different parts of the world. Some are creatures that remind us of ancient dinosaurs, and others are giant animals that are bigger and more terrifying than we know. Let's see together. Number 1, Maneater Tree. The famous German botanist Karl Leche returned to Germany in 1878 after researching and studying Madagascar's forests and published a description of his observations in the Berlin newspapers. The publication of these memoirs aroused a commotion in the people's minds and overwhelmed the Europeans with astonishment and terror. Because Leche spoke of blood-eating, carnivorous, and vampire plants. For example, he quoted, On one of the islands of Madagascar, I came across tribes who, according to their ancestral customs, wanted to sacrifice a young girl. I had heard many stories about young girls being sacrificed. I knew that many tribes sacrificed girls for idols at the foot of their temples to ward off evil from their country and nation. But this time, the story was different because they wanted to throw the young girl into the mouth of a vampire plant. The ceremony began in front of my stunned eyes and amidst the overwhelming excitement of the tribal people. They drummed, danced, cheered, and then tied the young girl to the trunk of a cannibal tree. The cannibal tree was two meters long. Its body was covered with grass resembling pineapple bark. At the top of the tree, a huge white flower could be seen, and the leaves of each tree were two meters wide. The sides of these leaves were long, dark, bony spines. When the young girl was tied to the tree's trunk, the tree leaves slowly opened. The leaves bent and grabbed the victim's body in their forks and twisted them in the blink of an eye. The prongs placed the girl's lifeless body on one of the leaves. The leaf, which had now become a coffin for the victim, slowly gathered. Thorns grabbed the girl's body, and thick blood erupted and flowed from the plant's branches. At the same time, the other leaves moved like skilled baker hands kneading and rubbing dough. The affair lasted a quarter of an hour, after which the vampire tree seemed to swallow the girl's body. When the tree completely devoured the poor girl, the chief of the tribe shouted in satisfaction, and all the members of the tribe got up and circumambulated around the tree, and their mad dance began. The dance continued until dawn, after which the men of the tribe set fire to the devil tree. As we have said, this article aroused a wave of surprise and disbelief among the people. But no one could deny it and refute the claims of the famous botanist because no one had traveled to Madagascar and had no information about this strange land. Furthermore, in the 16th century, sailors returning from long sea voyages told stories about the carnivorous plants they had seen on the southern islands of the Atlantic. They called the Coral Island, one of the southern islands of the Atlantic Ocean, the Island of Death. They said, whoever steps on this island carelessly has entered his own grave with his own feet. Because in the Island of Death, a thick aroma in the air makes people unconscious, and whoever inhales it loses consciousness and becomes the prey of plants. In addition, in 1890, a gold digger who had traveled from the United States to the Philippine archipelago struck man-eating trees. I saw with my eyes that a Filipino farmer named V.C. Bryan was about to lose his life, he said because his body became the prey of a tree that had animal tentacles instead of thorns. In another case, in 1913, some tourists claimed to have encountered cannibal trees in the forests of the Americas, especially in Nicaragua and Mexico. However, there is no doubt that carnivorous plants exist and use the meat of birds, insects, and possibly animals. These plants belong to the family of poisonous fungi, and some of these fungi have a human-shaped claw with which they hunt their prey. After that, the plant turns yellow, withers, 
gets tired and dries up. Of course, these carnivorous plants do most of their work devouring insects and worms, and in short, mollusks, and are unable to digest humans or large animals. The great scientists and botanists tried very hard to discover the secrets of the natural structure of these plants. But so far, they have not succeeded because it is very difficult to study the states of these plants. Carnivorous plants have neither a nervous system nor a digestive organ. They have only sensitive tentacles, which are a means of secreting sticky substances, and these tentacles act as a powerful and sharp radar in the body of carnivorous plants. The strange thing is that as soon as the outer body of the plant collides with small objects, the leaves quickly become alert, and the twigs move. However, rain and vibration of other plants don't cause any reaction in this plant. Another conundrum in plant life is that they don't react in any way when they are artificially stimulated. Carnivorous plants can't hunt more than four times in their lifetime. Because their leaves gradually lose their sensitivity and are no longer useful. Sometimes man is amazed at all this beauty in the world of creation. Carnivorous plants are one of the beauties of creation. Number 2, Chupacabra. Chupacabra is a legendary creature known to live in South America and was first seen in Puerto Rico. Its name is Chupa, meaning suck, and cabra meaning goat. Because it is known as a creature that attacks domestic animals, especially goats, and sucks their blood. Reports of this creature were found in Puerto Rico in 1995. Then, other reports came from North America to southern Chile in the following years. There were reports from outside South America, such as Russia and the Philippines. But most of these reports lack any evidence and are unprovable. In some reports of these creatures in northern Mexico and the southern United States, researchers confirmed that the observed creatures were dogs with mange skin disease. Biologists and environmentalists consider chupacabra a local myth. According to some accounts, chupacabra leaves a sulfur-like odor and reddens its eyes when it senses danger. We find traces of this vampire even in Chilean tales. Number 3, Mothman. The Mothman is a creature reported in West Virginia popular culture from November 12, 1966, to December 15, 1966. Mothman was introduced to the audience in 1970 by Gray Barker and was mentioned by John Keel in a book entitled Mothman. On November 12, 1966, Five men digging graves in West Virginia cemeteries claimed to have seen a human-like creature flying low above their heads. This observation is often considered the first observation of a creature known to Mothman. Shortly afterward, on November 15, two young couples from Point Pleasant reported to police that they had seen a sizable gray creature with red eyes. Over the next few days, Others reported similar observations to the police or other agencies. Two volunteer firefighters who saw Mothman described him as big red-eyed birds. A contractor named Newell Partridge said that when he threw his flashlight at a creature in the surrounding plains, his eyes turned red, blaming the creature for the noise or the breakdown of his TV and the disappearance of his dog. Wildlife biologist Dr. Robert L. Smith of the University of West Virginia said the reports, descriptions, and observations were entirely consistent with the Sandhill Crane. American fish-eating chicken has a red ring around its eyes, and its size reaches 2 meters. This bird may be lost outside its migration route. Because it was not native to the area, it was initially unrecognizable.